Welcome back. It's Phil's big day tomorrow, Groundhog Day tomorrow in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. We were supposed to have a live shot from there, but something happened to the signal. So file images of Phil. Punxsutawney Phil is going to come out to check out his potential shadow. You know how it goes. If he sees his shadow, it's six more weeks of winter. If he doesn't see his shadow, it's in early spring. Evidently, the fine folks at the National Oceanic and Atro Atmospheric Association, sorry, administration, use your tax dollars to keep track of Phil's predictions, also known as the government's meteorologists. They're weather experts, you see. And over the past 10 years, according to them, Phil's gotten it right about 40% of the time. And to be honest, if you read their article, it's slightly dismissive of Phil. You know, they're experts and all, but curiously missing from their article is their success rate of prediction, and it got us thinking about 40%. It's easy to scoff at, but might not be that bad in the grand scheme of things. For a baseball hitter, 40% is the greatest of all time level. Ty Cobb batted 366 for his career, slightly less than 40%. Ted Williams, arguably the greatest hitter of all time, batted 406 in 1941 before going to be a fighter pilot. Nobody touched that since. So Phil is up there with Ted Williams. Good company. And Phil's forecast couldn't come at a more important time. There's a huge winter storm coming across the Midwest right now. Find me a meteorologist who nails the snow totals 40% of the time. Never. That's why they always give ranges. Phil doesn't have that luxury. The world gets to hedge their bets. Every economist on one hand, on the other hand. Meteorologists get to say there's a 60% chance of rain. Phil does not get that luxury. For him, it's either early spring or six more weeks of winter, and he nails it 40%. One more thought. Since spring brings about a lot of weddings, that would be Phil's wedding, perhaps. Well, a couple that gets married today has about a 40% chance of divorce. People don't mind those odds. They actually spend big, big money to celebrate those odds. Still, the folks at PETA, well, they have this billboard up. I'm me, not a meteorologist. Let's chuck the tired old gimmick, says the billboard. They want to replace Phil with either a robot groundhog or a groundhog day tree, which kind of seems a little rude. How can you replace a guy with such an important job? PETA acts like predicting spring doesn't take skill. If Phil wasn't predicting the weather, what would he be doing? Peter wants to take away Phil's joy and purpose in life. Think about it. Bees give us honey and pollinate things. Cows give us milk. Dinosaurs, well, they gave us oil. Groundhogs give us weather. What else are groundhogs good for? And I'm not joking. We tried to look up the evolutionary benefits of groundhogs, and nada. Evidently, they're best known for being an aggressive and slightly larger squirrel. So tomorrow, all morning, on Morning in America, Phil will present as he represent groundhogs in their one useful activity of the year. All morning on Morning in America, Phil's there, Dan Abrams is next. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.